A crime scene was set up in our boardroom, and we collected an outline of the room with windows and doors and the evidence in the scene. We used a Leica Disto S910 and evidence recorder. Evidence recorder has seamless integration with Map360 software, and in this video, I will show you how to quickly transform your scene measurements into an accurate deliverable. In Map360, select Import EVR from the Import Export tab. You may need to browse to the directory where your project is saved and then select Next. The Sync Wizard Options dialog appears, which allows you to define line work options for any descriptions not found in the AutoMap library. This dialog allows you to confirm that you are importing the correct Evidence Recorder project. Click Finish to confirm. Map360 will now compare the units that were used in Evidence Recorder with the scene units in Map360. If they differ, this warning message will appear asking to convert the scene units to, the ma to match the incoming data. Select Yes. This next dialog is a quick reminder of how your toggles are currently set so you can make any changes prior to importing the data. Make sure your point protection is turned on. This will notify the user of any attempts to change the data. This is also where you can activate which auto map library you would like to use. Map360 and Evidence Recorder work best when using the same auto map file. Click OK to continue. Auto map saves you time by automatically connecting your measured points with lines based on the point descriptions. You can customize the AutoMap library by adding or removing codes, assigning layers, line types, line weights, or even symbols, so they are automatically inserted for you. We have the room outline with the table here in the middle and evidence around the scene. Let's clean up our drawing by hiding some of the layers. Let's start by adding walls to the outline of the room. Under the Draw tab, I've hit the Walls button and I'm just going to set my justification to the right. And I'm just snapping to the points that were captured uh, outlining this room. Next, we can go to the same location on the Draw tab and in the pull down menu, we'll just select the doors option and it wants to know uh, the width of the door so I'll just select it directly from our drawing and then for the door height and header height I'm going to enter those values uh, the defaults that it's giving me and I'm just going to select the parent wall and then the first point of the door and we could do the same thing with the windows And the status bar in the bottom left corner will be prompting you for the values. So you can hit enter to um, confirm the default that they're suggesting or you can type in a different value if you'd like to change that. You can also orbit the drawing in 3D by holding down the shift key and holding down the, mo the mouse roller wheel so you can see the, rooms, the room with the doors and windows. And to return to the top-down view, you just go to the Home tab and hit this top-down button. I'll go back into the Draw tab and use the Symbol Librarian to insert a table in the room. And I'll just place it right in the middle here. And then I can uh, use the Resize Block tool. And because I know the size of the table, I'll just turn off my aspect ratio and type in the values. And it'll be uh, resized for me. And then I can just use the move command and snap to the midpoint of the table and um, accurately place that on top of the measured table lines. Another great feature of Map360 is the ability to insert our evidence markers, uh, which have attached files um, based on the points and the file and the photos attached from the evidence recorder project. So our first evidence marker is point 11, and it's marker number three, and this is the knife tip. 
So we can add that into the legend text so it will show up when we insert a legend. And you can see that the image is already attached to this marker. Our next evidence marker is point 12, and it is also marker number three. And this is the knife handle. Next we have point 13. It is marker number one, and it was a wallet located on the table. And finally, we have point 14, which were a set of keys located on the ground. And we can close out of the dialog. We can also add a legend that will show the evidence that we have um, identified in the scene. And now I'm going to uh, hide a couple more layers so they aren't going to be shown for printing. It just cleans up the scene a little bit more. Map360 has customizable templates with viewports uh, that can be scaled independently. So you can create a template with multiple viewports, which are each showing different aspects of the scene. And these viewports can be scaled independently as well. I've created a general overview for the top viewport. And for the bottom two, I have a close-up view of the table with the evidence and the and a 3D view of the scene as well. And you can insert your company's information and logo, and we can export this as a PDF. An additional deliverable you can create is an evidence report which has the image associated with each evidence marker, as well as a diagram attached as the title page. This report puts everything in one place and allows you to easily share your scene and important evidence photos in one document. And the files that you attach to your evidence markers can be opened for full viewing uncompressed. You can see all the attachments also from the toolbar on the side. Thank you for watching.